Hello amazing grade 4 learners, parents, and teachers. Welcome to Teachers Free, your cheerful study buddy that loves to make learning easy, fun, and free for everyone. Today, we're excited to share with you the Grade 4 Science Second Periodical Test Quick Concept Reviewer. This handy reviewer will help you remember key lessons, refresh important science ideas, and get ready with confidence for your upcoming test. How can you use it? You can listen and learn as each question and answer is read aloud perfect for a quick review session. Or make it super fun. Pause after each question, think of your own answer, and then check if you got it right. It's like turning your study time into a friendly science quiz game. So come on, grade 4 explorers. With the help of your awesome parents and teachers, let's dive in, review together, and discover how exciting and wonderful the world of science can be. Question 1. Which part of a plant holds it firmly to the ground and absorbs water and nutrients from the soil? Answer. Root. Roots keep the plant steady in the soil and draw water and minerals that help it grow and stay healthy. Question 2. What part of a plant contains chlorophyll and captures sunlight to make food? Answer. Leaf. Leaves act like tiny food factories that use sunlight to make food for the whole plant. Question 3. What part of the plant carries water and nutrients to the leaves and supports the plant upright? Answer. Stem. The stem works like a highway that moves water and nutrients to all parts of the plant while keeping it upright. Question 4. Which part of the plant contains the reproductive organs that produce seeds? Answer. Flower. Flowers help plants reproduce by forming seeds that can grow into new plants. Question 5. What process allows green plants to make their own food from sunlight, water, and air? Answer. Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is how plants use sunlight, water, and air to make food and release oxygen into the environment. Question 6. What gas in the air do animals inhale that is needed for survival? Answer. Oxygen. Oxygen is the air gas that animals breathe in so their bodies can create energy from food. Question 7. What provides living things with food, water, air, and shelter for survival? Answer. Habitat. A habitat is the natural home of living things where they find everything they need to survive. Question 8. What do animals drink to stay hydrated and alive? Answer. Water. Water keeps animals cool, helps in digestion, and keeps their bodies working properly. Question 9. What main source of light and heat helps all living things survive on Earth? Answer. Sun. The sun gives energy and warmth that all plants and animals depend on to live. Question 10. What is the natural place that supplies animals with what they need to live? Answer. Environment. The environment provides air, water, and food that support life on Earth. Question 11. What term refers to any feature or behavior that helps an organism survive in its environment? Answer. Adaptation. An adaptation is a special trait that helps a plant or animal live and thrive in its surroundings. Question 12. What kind of adaptation allows an animal to blend in with its surroundings? Answer. Camouflage. Camouflage helps animals hide from enemies or sneak up on their prey for protection or food. Question 13. What do we call the seasonal movement of animals from one place to another to find food or warmth? Answer. Migration. Migration helps animals move to places where food and weather conditions are better for survival. Question 14. What do we call the long rest of some animals during winter to conserve energy? Answer. Hibernation. Hibernation allows animals to rest and survive when the weather is cold and food is scarce. Question 15. What term describes the physical traits of plants that help them survive, like thorns or thick leaves? Answer. Structural adaptation. Structural adaptations are special body features that protect plants or help them live in their environment. Question 16. What do we call the natural home of a living thing where it finds food, air, and shelter? Answer. Habitat. A habitat is the special place where a living thing gets food, water, and shelter to stay alive. Question 17. 
What type of habitat is found on land such as forests, deserts, and grasslands? Answer, terrestrial habitat. Terrestrial habitats are land areas where plants and animals live and grow. Question 18. What type of habitat includes lakes, rivers, and oceans where aquatic organisms thrive? Answer, aquatic habitat. Aquatic habitats are water environments where fish, plants, and other animals live. Question 19. What habitat allows animals like birds and bats to fly or stay above the ground? Answer, aerial habitat. An aerial habitat is a space where flying creatures move, find food, and build their nests. Question 20. What do we call species that can only be found in one country, such as the Philippine eagle? Answer, endemic species. Endemic species are animals or plants that exist only in one specific country or area. Question 21. What farmland habitat is used by people to grow rice and attract many animals and insects? Answer, rice field. Rice fields are wet areas where rice grows and many birds and insects find food and shelter. Question 22. What coastal habitat is made of trees with roots that grow in salt water? Answer, mangrove swamp. Mangrove swamps protect shores from waves and provide homes for many sea creatures. Question 23. What sandy coastal habitat is home to crabs, shells, and sea grasses? Answer, seashore. The seashore is where land meets the sea and serves as a home for many coastal animals. Question 24. What small cultivated area near homes is used for growing ornamental or edible plants? Answer, garden. A garden is a small land space where people grow flowers, fruits, and vegetables for beauty or food. Question 25. What do we call the variety of different living things found in one place? Answer, biodiversity. Biodiversity means having many kinds of living things that help keep nature balanced and healthy. Question 26. What do we call the series of changes an organism goes through from birth to adulthood? Answer, life cycle. A life cycle shows how a living thing grows, changes, and produces new life. Question 27. What is the first stage of a butterfly's life cycle where it begins its growth? Answer, egg. The butterfly's life begins as a tiny egg attached to a leaf. Question 28. What stage of a butterfly's life cycle is called the caterpillar? Answer, larva. The larva or caterpillar eats a lot of leaves to grow bigger before changing form. Question 29. What stage in a butterfly's life is enclosed inside a chrysalis? Answer, pupa. The pupa is a quiet stage where the caterpillar transforms into a butterfly inside its shell. Question 30. What is the final stage of a butterfly's life cycle? Answer, adult butterfly. The adult butterfly has wings, can fly, and lays eggs to start the cycle again. Question 31. What animals eat only plants and are called primary consumers? Answer, herbivores. Herbivores get energy from eating plants and help move energy up the food chain. Question 32. What do you call animals that eat only meat? Answer, carnivores. Carnivores feed on other animals and help keep nature's balance by controlling prey numbers. Question 33. What group of animals eat both plants and animals? Answer, omnivores. Omnivores can eat a variety of food, making them flexible in many habitats. Question 34. What term describes animals that hunt and kill others for food? Answer, predators. Predators catch and eat other animals to survive and keep ecosystems balanced. Question 35. What term refers to animals that are hunted and eaten by other animals? Answer, prey. Prey are animals that serve as food for predators and are part of the natural food cycle. Question 36. What diagram shows how energy passes from one organism to another in an ecosystem? Answer, food chain. A food chain shows who eats whom and how energy moves from one living thing to another. Question 37. What do we call organisms that make their own food using sunlight? Answer. Producers. Producers, like green plants, use sunlight to make food that gives energy to other living things. 
Question 38. What organisms depend on other living things for food and energy? Answer. Consumers. Consumers eat plants or other animals because they cannot make their own food. Question 39. What do we call living things that break down dead plants and animals? Answer. Decomposers. Decomposers break down wastes and dead bodies, returning nutrients to the soil for plants to use. Question 40. What network shows how several food chains are linked together in an ecosystem? Answer. Food web. A food web connects many food chains, showing how all living things in nature depend on one another. And that's it for our Grade 4 Science Second Periodical Test Quick Concept Review. Great job! Learners, you've done an amazing review today. Always remember that learning science isn't just about memorizing facts, it's about exploring, discovering, and understanding the world around you. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends or fellow teachers, and don't forget to subscribe for more free resources and study guides. And see you in the next video.